My rig has both paddle shifters and a sequential push-pull shifter. And unfortunately, most racing sims out there only allow you to map one control to the shift up and shift down process. And so I want to show you how I've gotten around that. This will work in any sim and with any set of hardware that you have. And so I, I like swapping back and forth between the sequential push-pull stick and the paddles on my wheel itself but it's uh, it's a pain to go into the settings and remap those every time that I want to change the way that I shift. So this method allows me to use both interchangeably, even mid-race. I can do one lap with my paddles, one lap with the sequential push-pull. What you'll need is a piece of software called Joy2Key, and this is a piece of software that's been around for a while. It's currently on version 6 point something. It is really powerful. Instead of me explaining what it does, I think that the text on their homepage right here is a good explanation of what joy to key does. It enables PC game controllers, like your wheels or your shifters, to emulate the keyboard and mouse input so that Windows applications and web games can be controlled with your favorite joysticks. Whenever joystick buttons and sticks are pressed, Joy2Key converts them into keyboard strokes and or mouse movements so that the target application will work as if you are using a real keyboard and a mouse. What we'll end up doing here is mapping our both our sequential and paddle shifters to some keystrokes on the keyboard. Those keystrokes on the keyboard will map to the shift up and shift down functionalities in our sim. So after downloading the software and running it, this is what the application looks like. Now I have three different joysticks right here. Joystick one is my Hoisingfeld pedals. Joystick two is a button box. Joystick three is my uh, Fnatic wheelbase. And plugged into that, I have my handbrake and uh, the shifter. And joystick three, by the way, is my Fnatic wheelbase and everything plugged in. And you can see when I hit the shift up on my sequential shifter, that's triggering button 30. Shift down on my sequential shifter is button 29. And then my paddle shifters, right there, there's shift up, which is button five, and shift down is button six. So those are the um, buttons that we're going to map. What you want to do is to create a new profile for the particular sim you're interested in. I'll do one for iRacing and I'll just keep it like this. I'll just call it my iRacing profile. Uh, when you create a new profile this gets reset. Let's change this back to three. Refresh that and again we're back here. Joystick three. There's my shift up button. So with the iRacing profile selected, what you're going to do is change those button assignments for, uh, for both sequential shift up and down and paddle shift up and down. So starting with se the sequential shift up, that's button 30 right here, I'm going to double click this. That will bring up this window. And so I want to map that to the keyboard button U. And so with this highlighted right here, I'm going to press U on my keyboard. And down here for comment, I'll put uh, sequential shift up like that. And then for my sequential shift down, that's button 29. Uh, I'm going to map this to the keyboard input D and call this sequential shift down. Good. So those two are mapped, and now let's do my paddles, which were, what, four and five? No, oh, five and six. Okay, so five is up and six is down. So U for this one, for my button five, and I'm going to call this uh, paddle shift up. And then with button six, map that to the letter D and call this paddle shift down. Good. Now, the next thing we want to change here in Joy2Key is right now, if, if I continued using another application, say like a Notepad, if I use Notepad and I press my sequential shifter down, notice that it's putting the letter U here. I'm not doing anything with my keyboard. That's all happening from my sequential shifter. I don't want that to happen. I only want 
um, that you to be pressed when uh, my sim is running, which in my case is going to be iRacing. So I want to go up here to Settings, Associate Profiles with Applications. And in this menu right here, I've already done it, but you are going to add a new application, say um, uh, it's for iRacing. And then you're going to put in the path to the executable file that runs when your sim is running. And so in my case, that's uh, c colon backslash iRacing slash iRacing sim 64 dx11.exe. You'll type in that entire path, and then in the associated profile, you're going to choose the profile you just made and press OK. So I've already done that with the profile that I created, this one called iRacing Formula Rim and it's set up the, the same way here. Shift up and shift down for my paddles, and shift down and shift up for my sequential shifter. Since we changed that setting here, this associate profiles with target applications, those keystrokes of U and D will only be passed to this particular application. And so when that application is running is the only time that it's going to pass that U and that D. So now I'm going to launch my iRacing simulator and change those key mappings. Um, and I'll change this joy to key to the default profile, which doesn't have any mappings, but the good news is when it sees iRacing is running, it will automatically switch over to the proper uh, profile. So inside of iRacing, and the reason you're seeing two mouse cursors is because this is the view with the uh, Oculus Rift VR headset. We want to go into Options, and then here under Gearbox, where you normally would map your uh, paddle or your sequential shifter, instead of doing that, we're going to map the uh, upshift to the letter U, and we're going to map the downshift to the letter D. And since we have uh, I'm going to answer no to this question, click done. Since we have mapped that, that profile in joy to key, now if I go race in my car, there I am in my car, so I can use my sequential shifter to go through the gears, or I can use my paddle shifters. And that's it.